roads, driveways, everywhere. No place else has something like that. They have the handicap ramp that just is part of the entrance to the, uh, you know, to the driveway or to the, the road, whatever the case is. And so I said, why can't you just take out that curb? And then that way that would give us, you know, more space there. Um, also, people are, the way they've got this, see how they've got the concrete going up to that um, traffic light pole. Well, a lot of people come up there and they think at first that that's the driveway that they're supposed to turn in. And then they realize, oh, the pole's there. I can't pull in there. So then they see that the driveway's down farther. So that's very confusing. And oh, and I've even trying to get off the road quick enough so somebody wouldn't run into the back end of me. I've even gone up over that curb. So if that could be taken out, that would be a solution to that. Um, oh, then, like I said, we used to have two driveways. Now the four driveways comes driveways come down into one. Well, the when you first pull in our driveway, let me see if there's a picture of this. There is, um, there's another driveway right beside it that used to be a circle. Well, now they have made that a parking lot. It looks like a parking lot to a doctor's office or a business or something, and as a matter of fact, um, Bo Williams with WATE was out there the other day filming and I happened to get his attention and I started pointing out some of the problems to him and before I even got it out of my mouth he said oh I thought that was the doctor's office he said when you pulled over there and parked and got out I thought you were going to the doctor in that house there I said no yeah that's what we've got now a parking lot there they completely took away our circle driveway that we wanted back and made this parking lot there instead and um, and the problem is we have a lot of traffic that pulls in there to uh, turn around anyway because they think it's a public road and that just encourages more traffic turning around in there. We wanted the gravel driveway back, uh, the circle driveway, excuse me, that's farther from the road. So hopefully that, you know, they wouldn't even see that and it wouldn't encourage a lot of uh, turnaround traffic. Um, let's see. Oh, also we've got a lot of, um, they left a lot of, um, weeds and brush to the side oh here we go picture of that they've got all these weeds and brush that's grown up here beside at the side of the property and I asked them when they were laying the sod to please you know remove that so they could put sod there and several people would say oh yeah we can take care of that that's not a problem it's still there and of course sod wasn't laid there and then they even um, there's these blue poles sticking up out of the yard I don't know what that's for um, you can see in these pictures where they've stopped the sod and then there's just um, dead grass and even weeds left here. They didn't sod down far enough. Uh, the concrete sidewalk, I mean, this just goes on and on. I could sit here for hours and go over this with you. The concrete sidewalk, I've got pictures of how it was damaged by their equipment being driven up and, up and down on it. Um, here's where they came and tried to uh, patch just one square of it, so now it doesn't match the rest of the sidewalk. There we go, see there's the sidewalk and then that ugly square there. And then here's cracks that they didn't even address. And then um, some close-ups show the edge here where it's crumbled away from where they drove the equipment up and down. Um, let me see what else. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Yes. You talked uh, apparently repeatedly to uh, the state, yes. PDOT, right? Yes. Did you ever make the people here aware of what was going on? Um, well, I've, I've talked to, yeah, Daryl a couple weeks ago, and um, yeah. So, Daryl, how familiar are you with these issues? Uh, well, it, in that conversation, uh, she mentioned she was going to be coming to the yeah. board meeting, and I, uh, I figured we'd wait until. Yeah, I probably need to sit down with him maybe and go over the pictures and all that. Now, did the state ever contact you? Because that's another thing they told us when we talked to them three weeks ago. They said, oh, well, let us go back and get with our people, and we're going to talk to town of Farragut people, and, you know, we'll see what we can come up with. But I, have you even heard from them? Uh, I've had a couple of conversations with them, but uh, Not about we've, this. We've, it's only been briefly about this. Uh, it's just been the fact that we have an understanding that there's there are issues out there yeah 
And the thing about the circle driveway that's so infuriating, and let me say the workers that came out there, they always were so nice to work with and cooperative. They, you know, and we tried to be nice to them. And as a matter of fact, the day that they were putting down the gravel in preparation for the asphalt, we, at first they were putting it there uh, where the parking lot was going to be. <laughs> And we were able to stop them and tell them that, no, 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 we don't want the parking lot. And we had told Sonia Sneed that uh, we were in negotiations with from the beginning, you know, we don't want that. She had it there in the design, and she said, oh, that's fine, we'll change it. Then David Sparks, when he first came on a year and a half ago, we told him, you know, that we told Sonia we weren't pleased with that design, and he said, oh, that's fine, we'll take care of it. So the day that they were putting down the gravel, they started doing it like the parking lot, and we said, no, 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 that's not supposed to be that way. Here's, you know, we want the circle back. So the workers were very nice to put the gravel the way that we asked them to, and I thanked them profusely. And the, the uh, man said, the foreman, I guess it was, said, well, you all have been so nice to work with us through all this, you know, inconvenience, that we want to return the favor, and we want to, you know, be nice back to you. And so that really meant a lot to me, and I think we have worked well with them, and, and like I said, they've worked well with us. But then it's been these supervisors that come in over them, or after them and change things. So what happened was after they put the gravel down and it stayed there for about a week, then David Sparks came in a week later with his with a different crew, and he know he's talked to my sister and I enough over the past year and a half to know that if if she and I did not like the way they had the gravel, we wouldn't have let it sit there for a week without saying something to somebody. We would have told them, you know, that's not how we wanted it. <coughs> so, but he he still assumed that that wasn't right and he had his crew get more gravel and put it where the where he wanted the parking lot and where we had had dirt left because that's where we wanted grass to grow and then paved that before we knew what was going on and before we could stop him um, so you know they they were going to do it right and then he came in and totally changed it even after you know promising us that they wouldn't do it that way well it so. sounds like this is going to take some doing to yeah. get fixed right. Yes. Let We've me just address this question to the staff who are here, and that is, can we be sure that we're part of the solution and not part of the problem? We can do our best. Well, and let me just tell you one more thing they told us uh, three weeks ago. When we, my sister said, well, um, you know, what happens if, you know, we have problems after you've signed off on this and left? And they said, oh, it's the town of Farragut's responsibility then, you complain to them. So, you know, I'm coming to you now to maybe try to get them to do something about it before they just disappear into, you know, into, yeah, <laughs> just disappear because then you guys are stuck with, with have, you know, trying to fix it. I don't know if legally that is the case, but we'll, we'll find true. out. Well, but, but, you know, you want to be good neighbors, Yeah. you know, and we are uh, part of the town and, uh, and like I said, they are, they are basically passing the buck to you and saying that you guys are the ones responsible once they leave. Like if you sign off, what he said was if you all sign off on the project and approve it, then it's your responsibility if, if there's some problem. So I'm trying to point out the problems now before they just take off and wash their hands of it. All right, well, let us put see our heads together and see it. what we can do. Thank you so much. Let me, I'll, um, well... I didn't staple them together and they're two pages, but if each of you will take, you know, two pages and then I'll hold on to these pictures, but maybe we can sit down and, or feel free, any of you, to come out, you know, we live right there. <laughs> And while you're doing that, uh, I have a question for staff. Have we done a final punch list on the project? Have we, have we walked it and signed off on not. it? Okay, so we still have some leverage. We're, we're taking some inventory of a few things. And that's two of them, I think. Oh, it, thanks. Um, There's two more. Yeah, and the thing of it is, you know, I've, I've got lots of pictures of other properties along there, and they were left in better condition than they started in. And we just want ours back to its original condition and, um, and not upgraded, but they were upgraded and, and we have been left worse. We've gone from pavement to gravel and we've got a parking lot now instead of our circle driveway, so. 
and a damaged sidewalk, damaged stone columns, a yard that looks awful, it's got weeds all in it and um, brush. You know, and the thing of it is that they're in the very front where the weeds are left now, the low lying weeds. Um, <coughs> the person that mows for us we got him they had stuff left there forever and we finally realized they're never going to cut this down so we had him take care of it but then this over there to the side it's it's a little more um i guess heavy duty than his equipment <laughs> could take care of you know it's gotten to be like little small trees growing up and you know so we and really we shouldn't have to take care of that anyway that's their responsibility um do you have before pictures that's the problem we may not see and here's the thing we have been very trusting all along the way we kept when they would promise us things we kept saying do we need to get this in writing do we need to get this in writing oh no 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 we're, we'll take care of you we'll take care of you so yeah I think we you know and and we didn't think that we would need to take before pictures now we may be able to find some just in the family archives you know that kind of thing um, but well, I would suggest you look for them if you can find any. okay okay it would help yeah yeah, but now y you know that our driveway is well traveled and not just family, but we have a lot of friends and visitors that come in and out. And I mean, there's tons of people that could attest to the fact that it wasn't like that before. You know, I even have piano students that come in and out and I have had uh, some of their parents, this one, um, a doctor's wife, gave me uh, the name and number of a lawyer to call because she said, I don't see how you're putting up with this. This is ridiculous. So. Well, I'm sorry this has happened. We'll see what we can do.